Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of Connections! We are solving Connections for August 3rd, 2023, and guys, no sooner than I'm done with my solve, guess what? We will take a look at the results as of August 1st, where the yellow category was long sandwiches, okay? So stay put, and then as soon as I'm done, we'll transition right into the results, and we'll see who's at the top of the scoreboard and who has a little bit of catching up to do. All right, guys, let's put the timer on now and see how Art can do on today's connections. We've got High, Order, Swarm, Baked, Pride, Chem, uh, Domain, Stats, Class, Lit, Bio, Herd, Gov, um, funny word, Family, Colony, and Blazed. Okay. Um, so the first thing I noticed is, uh, this is kind of cute. It's a bunch of classes right? High school classes, but just basically academic subjects, but it looks like they're abbreviated. So almost all of my students take these things, stats, lit, bio, gov, and chem. And of course, as luck would have it, we've got the red herring. We've got a fifth wheel. We've got the odd man out, however you'd like to call it, okay? I don't see any other abbreviated classes, but yeah, um, it could easily be chem as well. So we have to deal with that. I see something else. And it's actually interesting because the bio made me think about this. I see, what is this called? Divisions of life or classification of life, okay? Now, it's actually changed over the years. I remember in the 80s, we remembered it as like kings play chess on fine glass stools. But now there's a domain, okay? Because I know with my biology students, there's now a new overarching category of life called the domain. Thanks to, I guess, some new organisms that we've discovered. Okay, let's keep our fingers crossed. So domain, order, okay, those are still intact, class, and family, okay? And I do not see anything else, okay? Right, there's there's nothing else. Those are the ones. So let's say uh, classification of life. Oof, okay. We'll let that slide, Okay. I mean, taxonomy ranks, that's kind of a fancy way to call it, but I think you'd, you guys agreed. I had that, right? Because remember, we want to try to get that extra bonus point if we can nail all the categories in addition to not getting any mistakes. Okay, but we nailed it, and that's cool. That was the purple category. All right. Now, um, I still have that extra class, unfortunately, for my academic subjects. Let's try something else. Um, okay, this looks interesting. We've got a swarm, we've got a colony, um, we've got a pride, like a pride of lions, and we've got a herd, okay? Yeah, these are all just groups of animals. I don't see any other group of animals remaining, so let's go with groups of animals. Perfect, okay? We, can, we nailed that. Even got the name of the category. All right. Ah, shoot, but I still have my, oh no, I've still got my, let me think here. We've still got our lit, stats, bio, gov, and chem. Ah, one of these is the odd man out. Okay, but let's look at the others, okay? Let's just pretend that we also clicked on chemistry. Then I've got blazed, high, and baked, okay? Now guys, please. Art is not a fan of marijuana, and he has never taken it, okay? I think the stuff looks nasty, and I have no um, I have no desire whatsoever to take it. However, by pure happenstance, I happen to know that when you're blazed, <laughs> when you're blazed, it's the same as when you're baked, which is the same as when you're lit, which is the same as when you're high. So these are all euphemisms or however you want to call it, synonyms for basically taking a joint. <laughs> Stoned. Okay, fair enough. And now, of course, we're left with uh, abbreviations for academic subjects. Oh, AP classes. Okay, now that's, that's pretty good. I think you guys will let me slide on that. I should know that. Um, I should totally know that, that those are AP classes. Um, but everybody, even if you're not taking advanced placement, everybody says, oh yeah, how'd you do on your bio test? I'm taking chem. Yeah, I'm taking gov. I'm taking stats. They don't have to be AP classes necessarily, except for possibly the gov. Okay. That's usually an AP class. Fair enough. I think we'll let art slide and give them a full five points. Not bad, huh guys? All right. So please stay put, um, because I am now going to transition over to announcing who is in the lead effective 
August 1st. So thanks for watching, guys. And now let's go straight into the results. All right, guys. So let's take a look at the results. This was from our very first connections on August 1st. Long sandwiches. Okay. So um, just like I did with the uh, previous tournaments, I took your results, put them to a spreadsheet, and basically just ordered them with the top scores all the way to the bottom. So let's announce who's in the lead and who has a little bit of catching up to do. Remember guys, this is a long month, so do not panic if you've got a score of zero. In tied for first place, there's four of us. We've got Brandon Baker, Dora A, Geraldo, and some guy by the name of Rise to the Equation. And guess what? We're all tied for five points. Now, let me just go over the rules for the scoring again, guys. Four points. If you do not make any mistakes, the fifth bonus point that you get only if you have already gotten all four, um, sorry, let me just say that one more time. That happens only if you have not made mistakes. And then on top of that, you are able to announce correctly all four categories. That's how you get the bonus. Okay. So in other words, if you made a mistake, but you also happen to know what all the categories were, sorry. Uh, we don't do the bonus point that way, okay? Just to keep it, um, just to keep it kind of consistent for everybody, okay? So yeah, so that's the four of us. We got the five points, four points. So these are the people who didn't make any mistakes, but didn't quite name all the categories. I suspect the tough one for this one was that Adam, right? Adam Ant, Adam Scott, Adam Driver, Kylo Ren, and who is the other Adam? Oh yeah, Adam West, Batman. So in this category, we've got Triple T, otherwise known as Tornado the Twixter. Uh, we've got Cable Wire, Ellen Sassani, Viking 67, and Pat Merkland. Okay. Now we have a nice group of threes. These are folks who just simply made one mistake. That's D-Bone Capone, Geo Human, and Salad Van Baco. And Salad Van Baco, welcome back. I remember you participating uh, early in the year, so it's wonderful to have you back. Nobody got two points, okay? So basically, the next um, group of folks was those who only got one category. Um, no, I shouldn't say got one category correct. Rather, they made three mistakes, okay? Edward Collins, and it's great to have him. Uh, he is the creator of SmartyBot. He also is the guy who gave me this awesome system, that simple little triple X, guys, that you put at the beginning of your uh, results is a mastermind thanks to Edward, and it allows me to collate these results extremely quickly. So once again, thank you, Edward. So Edward Collins has a point. G3 Holiday has a point. Joe has a point, and Stacy P23 has a point, okay? And then sadly, we've got a few folks, but don't worry. They, you know, you can rebound in a heartbeat, right? Uh, these folks have zeros. Unfortunately, that means that, yeah, basically... It failed. That's when the little thing announces next time, which is kind of annoying. Ascension, Cheryl Fessenden, Connor Clark, Ella Enchanted, Mata Muertes, Memphis Muir, The Bonehead 1997, and Forsaken. I'm really psyched with the participation, guys. At first, I thought, you know, if we had about just around 20 people, you know, a little under would be st still be okay. But we got 23 here, which is awesome. If, for any reason, your name did not appear here. Don't worry, guys. From time to time, the comments are finicky and things do get deleted. You could do one of two things. You could put it in today's, just include both results. So today's result and this one. Or if you'd like, you could just personally email it to me and I'll take care of it that way. That's totally fine. To get my email, all you do is just go to the About tab in the Rise to the Equation YouTube page. Okay? Because uh, I did notice a few of them have disappeared. For instance, I know Martin Steed has been participating, and he does amazing. I think he got a five. So I just, yeah, because I didn't see it, I didn't put it in. So Martin, please, you're one of them. Feel free to put it back in or just email me. And then I think I remember uh, a young lady by the name of Melanie Lee. So Melanie, I'm sorry if for some reason your result also disappeared. You can either just send me a personal email or just try to enter the results one more time. If there is a YouTube um, expert out there who knows what and how and why these comments disappear, I would really be greatly appreciative because if there's a way that we could teach folks to do something to prevent that from happening, that would be amazing. It's really annoying. And sometimes it forces me to go back to my comment section 
from my master page and it's a lot of backtracking. It's very annoying. So if anybody knows why they disappear and if there's something that we can do to prevent it, that'll be phenomenal. And there you have it, guys. This is going to be a super fun month. Don't worry, you guys who have those zeros. You can bounce back very quickly. And you know me, guys. This is this is just a little bit of luck. You know that art is totally capable of failing this thing. And I know that would make a few of you happy. All right, guys. Well, with that in mind, I'm looking forward to seeing you for the next round of Connections.